Well, updated COVID-19 vaccines are now available as hospitalizations are increasing and the respiratory virus season is now picking up. The latest CDC data shows that more than 20,000 hospital admissions for COVID-19 in the first week of September. That's up 7.7% from the previous week. And joining me now is Dr. Aruna Sabrumanian, infectious disease doctor at Stanford Healthcare, starting off do the new COVID boosters provide protection against the newer variants? And how long could that protection actually last? That's a great question. It's good news because the latest vaccine does provide protection against our latest variants. Um, it came from the XBB lineage and, and the latest variants that are circulating now um, are related enough that the, these vaccines do provide good protection. And it's hard to say how long it's going to last, but at least it should last through the next potential spike in the winter. We normally do get a spike around December, January, and so it should last you through that as protection. So it, it should be a good vaccine for this coming season. And we know people who are 65 and older and those who are immunocompromised are urged to get that booster shot as soon as possible. But what about someone who is relatively healthy or recently had COVID? Should they also get that booster? Yeah, that's another good question. So we really want to focus and, and really get protection for those who are immunocompromised and elderly. So without a doubt, they should get it. But the rest of us, we know that vaccination reduces the severity of illness and it reduces the duration of symptoms so makes your sickness shorter so it's a good idea for all of us the cdc does recommend that all of us get the vaccine and the more protection we have the better i think so it's it's something that uh, we should all consider if you've had a recent infection then you may not need it for the three months following that infection you still have some protection so you could wait but um, and, and if you got a recent booster, then you should wait about two months. But otherwise, I think it's a good idea for, for most of us, but especially the immunocompromised and elderly. So should we also be getting the booster and the flu shot at the same time? Is that safe? That's safe to get them both at the same time. You might as well be ready and prepared. <laughs> Why not take everything you can? You know, I'm all about prevention. Also, uh, people still might have those home COVID tests from previous waves. Uh, mm -hmm. I still have a couple of them back at my place. Yeah, Are they too. still effective? And if they've expired by now, uh, should we toss them? Should we get rid of them or, or can we still use them? You might still be able to use them. The FDA has given an extension on the expiration date for some of the vaccines. You can check on the FDA website, especially if you've stored them in not very hot areas, you know, you've stored them properly. But if there's any question, you can get new free tests from the government. Now they're sending out free tests again. So you can just sign up for that if there's any question. Do, do the new COVID tests uh, test for the new variant or is it just testing for COVID overall? It's testing for COVID overall, but it, okay. it should pick up all of the variants so far. So no, no problem with uh, using the, new, the COVID tests. All right. Well, thank you very much. Always good information. So thank you very much, doctor, for joining us. Of course. My pleasure.